Hey there, YouTube and fellow currency lovers. Kyle here with Variety and Airs with another video where we will cover presidential dollars. So you've most definitely seen these coins around. They are presidential $1 coins. And this started with a program known as, uh, of course it would be called, the Presidential Dollar Coin Program, back in 2007. So under this program, four presidential dollar coins would be issued each year and each president's portrait would be struck on the one dollar coin and released for circulation for just three months and then another coin would come out. Each president will appear on mint state proof and satin finish one dollar coins in the order in which they served as president of the United States. So pretty straightforward as far as the program's concerned. Each presidential dollar bears the same reverse design which is the Statue of Liberty and all of them uh, contain edge lettering inscriptions with the date and mint mark. From 2007 to 2008, presidential dollars had In God We Trust, uh, also known as edge lettering, which was located on the edge of the coin. However, since there was a ton of them, and by a ton I mean tens of thousands of coins, were found with missing edge lettering, which is an error to look for on these coins, the U.S. Mint changed the location of the motto uh, beginning in 2009. So from 09 until now, uh, all of these dollar coins will have In God We Trust on the obverse of the coin. Back when the coins were first released in 2007, there was a lot of excitement about it in the market and in the news about the new coins, especially since uh, the last time the U.S. struck any coins with edge lettering was in 1933 with the St. Gaudens Eagles coins. Uh, and those are double eagles is what a lot of people are just going to call them. More excitement came once that missing edge lettering thing hit uh, the news and was a new discovery. And then people started really trying to eat up these coins to be able to find missing edge lettering specimens of these presidential $1 coins. Uh, these are considered major mint errors. Other more minor varieties uh, have surfaced since then, and this is, uh, includes stuff like double inverted edge lettering, uh, overlapped edge lettering, uh, or partially or weak edge lettering, where it wasn't entirely printed on the edge of the coin. So with so many different presidential coins in this series, errors and varieties are something of great excitement that you can definitely come across when you search through these in either rolls or just in your pocket change. As far as values on these coins, I've seen them individually go for around 10 bucks, uh, some a little bit less, like if they're uh, just kind of a heavy run of those coins, then they might be around three or four bucks. Generally around 10, but I have seen ones in really good condition uh, graded quality coins like a PCGS, um, PR70, or like high 60s, like an MS65, stuff like that. I've seen those go for between 60 and 100 bucks, depending on the coin. Let me know what you've come across in your coin roll and bill searching as of lately in the comments below. And like always, happy hunting out there when doing your currency searches. I will see you in the next video. Like and subscribe to Variety and Errors if you enjoy currency as much as me. And I will see you later.